Hi, I'm Katie Grinstead and I am from Burclair Farms in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. A um, little bit about myself, I uh, grew up on the farm, uh, went to school at UW-Madison, majored in agricultural journalism, was active in a lot of groups in college, uh, made a lot of friends, learned a lot, and after college went to work actually for VitaPlus as the calf specialist and uh, worked for VitaPlus for five years, traveling throughout the Midwest. After uh, VitaPlus, working for VitaPlus for five years, I came back home to the farm. Uh, Verclair Farms is a family farm that is uh, owned by my mom and dad, myself, and my brother, JR. Uh, we milk 1,500 cows three times a day through a double 20 parallel parlor. My main responsibilities at the farm are to take care of the calves and then I also do all of the book work and payroll. Um, I've taken over all of the pretty much office work. Right now we raise all the calves, the heifers and the bull calves. Uh, we raise the bull calves till they're eight weeks old and then I have two buyers that uh, buy the bull calves off the farm. Um, we raise the heifer calves on the home farm until they're five months old. Um, and then after, um, after they're five months old, they go up to the heifer farm where they're rotationally grazed in the summer and in the winter we bring the smaller ones into buildings and the bred heifers do stay outside all year around. In future editions, we will be able to talk a little bit more about um, the protocols and some of the things we do um, at the farm feeding calves, um, but I'd like to take uh, this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about um, a neat opportunity that I had a couple weeks ago, um, and that was to travel to China and talk to dairy producers in China about raising calves, um, more specifically raising calves in calf hutches. Um, at two seminars that the World White Sires Group in China put on. Along with speaking to producers, uh, I also had the opportunity to go out to two dairy farms. One was a 10,000 cow dairy that was a, a really new facility that will be expanding to 20,000 cows. And the other was an existing um, facility that is 6,000 cows. Some of the things that I saw over there that were very different than um, over here, back home here in the U.S. was um, the dairy farmers over there are not uh, necessarily um, people that were born and raised dairy farmers. Um, the herd managers are people that may be um, computer people or might be business people but are managing these dairies. And that was something that was talked a lot about the difference between us and them is we're cow people first, most of us, and business people second. They import a lot of their cattle from Australia and New Zealand. And it was pretty amazing to um, hear the stories about cattle being you know, on boats for two weeks, uh, in the port for a week, and uh, on a truck for another week to until they finally got to the dairy. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a different world over there. They're in their infancy stages of um, farming and they are sponges for knowledge and, and really wanting to learn um, how we do things over here. I look forward to um, talking to you and uh, showing you a little bit about uh, the day-to-day -day operations at Verclair Farm.